So welcome to the 2019 edition of the Dubai Event Freethink Night Out. To have the great minds switched in the on mode. You really just need a spirit of adventure. They just keep doing the same thing, but they do it so well that we love it. We want to be a part of it. We want to have it because we know we can trust it. The passion for discovery, the passion for explorer. The speakers that you're going to hear tonight all have that great spirit of adventure. Um, we've got a long heritage, 1973 we started. I think we've had, I've got some statistics here, um, a total of 195 trips around the world in the sailors in the last edition. That's 5 million nautical miles, which is quite incredible. Um, we've, we've got Olympic champions, you know, it's the ultimate test of a team. Uh, you'll see our race here that we've, um, we've gone around the world in different directions, or not di different directions, but in different routes. And, um, and this edition we actually had 22 female sailors and a lot of really young folk on board as well. But as you mentioned, we, uh, we took on a new and innovative challenge this year and that was really to embrace our role as a steward of the ocean. Our uh, Turn the Tide on Plastic team was obviously a, a forerunner in that, but we also had an education program, ocean summits and our science program. Um, the race teams really embraced the sustainability mission. Uh, Vestas 11th Hour were doing incredible work on the ground in every one of our stopovers. Um, Scallywag, Axon Nobel, Matt Frey, they all embraced the sustainability message. And the sailors were really, uh, really behind it, which was incredible to see. Um, we joined with UN Environment and, and co-opted the Clean Seas mission. Um, and we were, we were privileged to uh, host the announcement of people such as the IOC, World Sailing, also the countries of Spain, Wales and New Zealand all signed up to Clean Seas and made their global commitments at our ocean summits. And so our host cities, we had Alicante, Lisbon, Cape Town, Melbourne, Hong Kong, Guangzhou, Auckland, Itajaí, Newport, Gothenburg and The Hague, and I think I left Cardiff and Newport out, um, they were all on this mission with us. And it gave us the opportunity to uh, put this uh, sustainability message in context. The education program was an incredible outreach opportunity for us. We connected with 100,000 children um, who went through our education program and it's available online, um, seven languages and 40 countries have adopted it. And so connecting with kids has been amazing. And here's one of our sailors, uh, Bianca Cook from New Zealand from the Clean Seas, or Turn the Tide on Plastic team. Uh, she, along with all other sailors, went out and connected with schools, especially in their hometowns, uh, to talk about the issue of plastic pollution in the ocean. Um, yeah, so I was hoping that it would give a go. Um, so our race villages were a really important opportunity to connect with people. Um, you couldn't miss the plastic pollution message that we pushed through when uh, our millions, three million people came through our race villages over the nine months of the event and of the race. And so we used those as opportunities to connect on issues such as reusable water bottles. We didn't sell a single plastic bottle in the entire race village. And uh, through having our reverse osmosis water filtration systems, we prevented about 400,000 single-use plastic bottles from being used in the race villages. But plastic water bottles weren't the only single-use plastic uh, we avoided. We wanted to make sure um, things such as, you know, your beer cups, you see them litter the, the, the ground of events. We made sure that we, uh, we didn't have those. And all up, we probably avoided an, an additional million single-use plastic items from uh, pushing reusables through our, through our race villages. Resource recovery, waste, isn't actually that sexy, but it's a little bit uh, part of my remit. And so um, we really worked hard on making sure that the remaining uh, residual resources were captured for putting back into the circular economy. We got the message out as well through our installations on site. This is an amazing um, installation, the entranceway to the Gothenburg um, stopover race village where Volvo buses and the local city were launching a new electric bus system. So this was vertical gardens, juice bars, the whole thing. So we really made people experience the ideas around sustainability as they um, entered the race village. And this is another terrific example of an activation that we had on site. 
Um, obviously, it's a great selfie prop as well. Uh, but we, we really hope in the future to do more of this sort of activation where people, as they're entering our race villages, can really experience what's going on with this issue of plastic pollution. And the sea bin here was an example of that. This is a small device, which if anyone's uh, got a marina, I would recommend um, something like this. There's plenty of trash skimmers type uh, operations out there. But this one, we, we collected the, the litter that was coming into our actual race village and put it on display and talked about it with people, um, including the Youth Academy. So we, you know, as part of the race, have um, sailor, young sailor development. And uh, we really pushed the, the idea of uh, these young sailors being stewards of the ocean into, um, into their Youth Academy experience, which was really amazing. Beach cleans, uh, we did at every stopover. And at the beginning, I was thinking, mm, I don't know about this. It's a little bit tokenistic. But they turned into an amazing engagement opportunity, especially when the CEOs were coming into town. We'd get them out on the beaches. And they're like, oh my god, I didn't realize that you know, there was so much plastic there. So I would encourage everyone, if you haven't been on a beach clean, to do that. Um, I mentioned before female sailors. We, we changed the rules in the race this last edition and can, will continue to make sure that we have female sailors in the race. And this year was, or this last edition, of course, was the first one where there was a, feel, a female sailor uh, in the winning team. Science is amazing. Um, part of our program as well. We had uh, microplastic devices on two of the racing uh, boats, which this is an example of one um, there, and we, we took oceanographic um, data, microplastic data, and we found mi microplastic in 93% of the samples uh, that we collected. So the future, we can see on the left there, the, um, or no, the right, the Amoka class boat, so we're going foiling as well. Um, but we will be continuing with our Super 60, uh, uh, not Super 60s, our VO 65s as well. Um, so yeah, that is the, the Volvo Ocean Race very, very quickly and the sustainability program. <laughs> Thanks.